Hello, I'm Theresa Newham, and I'd like to welcome you to my virtual studio for the online Hearts Open Studios. I'm sorry I'm not going to be able to greet you in person this year, but it does give me the perfect opportunity to show you what my studio looks like when I'm actually working in it. So let's start the tour. So this is my studio. I'm just going to pan around the whole thing slowly to show you what there is, and then we'll take a look in a bit more detail. As you can see, I'm lucky with the amount of light. Uh, I've got several windows and I'm next to the kitchen, which is handy for the sink. So this is the end of the bench where I do my printmaking. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a few rollers and plenty of storage. Back on the bench, the glass is actually from an old photo frame and I use it as an inking glass. I've got some inks lined up there because I'm in the middle of producing this print. Uh, it's a reduction liner cut and I'm, as you see I'm just doing the reduction on the centre of it. Um, various tins and things scattered around. That's the baron and the dessert spoon I used to print with. Over here are my new liner cut tools. You can see I keep them in the packaging to keep them safe. They're Swiss liner cut tools. For many years I used student grade tools which are fine and I decided to uh, ask for these for last Christmas and I've really noticed the difference. The little one at the end, this one, is actually a Japanese woodcut chisel, um, but I use it for clearing out large areas of liner. Uh, this is the liner block. I've been cutting a little bit, as you see. Next to that is the little tray where I've got um, a slip strop, which is what I use for honing my tools when I'm using them and a brush to brush away all that lino and a china graph pencil which I use if I need to mark the lino up to remind me to cut something or not to cut something. The other thing to show you on this side of the room, I'll just switch back here, under here is my print drying rack. You can see I've got some prints drying on there at the moment. It's a brilliant space saver. And then around here what have we got? Uh, a couple of easels tucked away and some bits and pieces. I should say that this part of the room is where I do my watercolour painting. We won't look too closely at the wall because you see where I've spattered watercolour up it. Um, but that's where I do my watercolour painting, my liner cutting, as you see, and any sort of design work at this side of the room. And that is a chest of drawers from Ikea, which doubles as a planned chest. And I've got all sorts of things in there, prints, old watercolours, paper, and also some mounts. And a shelf of Brick and brack and brushes. All oh, the paintings on the wall, they're some of the first ones I did. So there's the Marbiteres, the Irish fishing trawler. I don't know if you can see it properly. An Irish fishing trawler that um, used to be moored at Port McGee in County Kerry, uh, where we have friends, take quite a lot of holidays. The Marbiteres gave her name to my blog. Uh, next to her is a very early painting I did. You can see I was interested in experimenting even then. And down here we have a pen and wash. Again, I'm not sure if you can see it too well, but I did of Port McGee itself, all those lovely painted uh, buildings along the main street there. They're facing the sea. And this painting, I love this painting, this swan. It's um, painted in two colours, raw sienna and cobalt blue. They mix really well together. And it's just one of my favourite pictures. Uh, what have we got here? More bric-a-brac bits and pieces. Around here, uh, my pencils and my uh, knife and various bits and bobs all in a little caddy. More storage, printing inks and bits and pieces. It's amazing how much stuff you gather when you're doing all these things. And just, well, this is where I keep my watercolour paint. And uh, as you can see, I've got quite a few, um, but actually I always go back to the same ones, it's funny really, but it's good to have a variety in case you suddenly want to introduce something new into the mix. You can see I've got sponges tucked away in there as well to introduce texture into the work and that kind of thing. I've got some more colourful tins with all sorts of bits and pieces in them over here and these are my books, all sorts of different books, art and uh, photography and uh, lino cut and framing. All that kind of a thing. And up here um, I've got some sacred lino cuts. I print those in black and white. 
There's uh, one that was based on the Gospel of John. It's called Signs. And a Christmas card. And I think we've got another Christmas card down here with the Annunciation. So they're all grouped together at, at the end of the studio. Well, thank you for taking this tour of my studio. I hope we can meet in person next year. In the meantime, don't forget to check out Hearts Open Studios on the Hearts Visual Arts website. The various artists taking part, the daily themes. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Hope to see you soon. Bye.